There have been many recent changes in urban transportation. And with transportation playing such an integral role in city outcomes and individual behaviors, we're interested to see if such changes have affected those outcomes and behaviors. Specifically, we're interested in the growth of Uber and Lyft, app-enabled peer-to-peer transportation platforms. These platforms have seen such large activity and growth in many cities around the world. Some work has looked at how the growth of this has replaced or uh, supplemented existing transportation, but we're interested in the more broader sectors of a city, such as um, consumption spending and people's activity levels for the city. We hypothesize that Uber and Lyft have lowered the frictions for um, transportation for many consumers, and this has enabled increased geographic um, diversity of spending and increased activity levels. It's possible, however, that it's simply Uber and Lyft have simply replaced um, exist traditional transportation and there may have not been a change. This question is of interest for future changes in urban transportation as well. Autonomous vehicles and self-driving cars have been um, very big on the minds of various public policy officials, businesses, and um, uh, city, city officials. To get a better sense for how future growth and the uh, adoption of self-driving cars in cities might, be, might have an effect in the future, we're going to study how the growth of Uber and Lyft have affected, uh, may have affected the individual behaviors um, for in many U.S. cities uh, in the past few years. To do so, we have data, uh, very detailed data from a bank uh, across the U.S., and we have data for many accounts and for each day um, throughout the time period. And for every day, we observe various transactions for consumers on their credit card. And we observe the categories of transactions, importantly. This, can, this includes um, food and drink transactions and other transportation transactions. Uh, and even more importantly, we observe the specific merchant names and stores that the consumers are spending at. First, this allows us to identify um, Uber and Lyft transactions, and this is, tells us whether a consumer adopted and is using Uber and Lyft. And also we can study specific restaurants and get um, an estimate for their geographic locations as well. With this data, we have data from 2012 to 2016 for over 40,000 active accounts in this time period. Before Uber and Lyft enter these various cities, we observe various consumers and their transportation and food and drink patterns over time. Um, and then we see after the, after the entry of Uber and Lyft into their cities, we see which consumers end up adopting Uber and Lyft and if they have changes in their food and drink cons consumption over time. And more importantly, we can see if this increase in food and drink consumption is related to their activity and engagement with the Uber and Lyft platforms. For example, visually, this might be this is visualizing a consumer's food and drink consumption before Uber and Lyft, and afterwards, we if Uber and Lyft is lowering this person's um, frictions for transportation, we may see an increase in food and drink activity, which is also associated with their Uber and Lyft activity. However, if this were not true, if our hypothesis of lower frictions is not true, we may see increased use in Uber and Lyft, but no associated changes in food and drink activity. And importantly, to to reduce the confounding influence of various national time trends and local time trends, we observe the entry of Uber and Lyft across many uh, across time between a one to two year period where they enter many cities across the U.S. Um, and using this variation in time and using the comparison of non-adopters to adopters, um, we will be able to analyze and get a better get a better estimate for how Uber and Lyft may have been influencing uh, individual behaviors in the, within a city. So, to see more and to get more uh, look at the data and the analysis, we will see you at our presentation at KDD 2017. And we look forward to hearing from you then. Thanks.